Alrighty guys, so, um, today I'm gonna build, be building a base, um, it's gonna be a decent sized base, it's gonna be able to with hold, uh, multiple, multiple amounts of C4, and, uh, I'm gonna sh review that at the end, and, yeah, let's get started. Alright, to finish it up, uh, you can place garage doors here. I recommend placing a garage door right here, uh, framing a garage door on this side, uh, garage doors on all these, and then two garage doors in the middle, a uh, garage door right here to block off entering from here, block off the staircase too, so right here, um, and then yeah, garage door right here, and of course on top. So to finish it up, uh, you can also let me get some wood real quick. And get a build tool. Because you might want to add turrets to your base. Which if you have and late, you are late game, then you can add turrets. 
Um, honeycomb's also a thing you should probably add. Uh, make it all stone. I didn't mention that, but you could do that. Or, well, I did, but it, my mic was broken, you know. Alright, so once you come up here, um, if you want to know where to place the turrets, I'd recommend adding half walls to certain places like this. And just uh, placing it right here. And then maybe putting a roof on top, I don't know. Um, shotgun trap, whatever. Um, you can also add a half roof on this. And then uh, you can also add turrets or shotgun traps right under here. Below, uh, below the staircase. So if players just come down, they'll be uh, blasted, you know. And that's a place where you can hide. Uh, you can also add them on the sides, like right here maybe, in the corner. You can also add like in the corner right here. A trap. And then... Uh, and then maybe on the other side if you want, like right here. I don't have enough wood to finish it off, like right here, then right here, and then right here. Uh, also, I recommend it on the shooting floor. Maybe uh, even on the, on the, on the, what's it called? This floor. And maybe you want a turret like right up here, maybe right here in front of the store, below here, maybe below one of these crates. But yeah, um, so th that's, that's basically it. You can also place sleeping bags under here. And yeah, that's it for the base. Um, so let's move on how much C4 would take to raid. Alrighty, so uh, let's say they, the raiders take the most optimal spot, which is uh, which is over here in the back. And so they'll have to go through one honeycomb of stone, so that's already 2C4. Then one steel, so that's 6C4. Then a garage door, so that's another 2. That's 8, and then they have to go... Through the bunker, go to RTC, which is another two. Uh, so in total, that's around ten. So now, if they enter through our first door, which that I'm guessing it's a uh, iron door, and another iron door, so that's two, then a garage door, so that's three, then. Two, one, two, three, four. Four more garage doors. That's like eight. So it's eleven, and then another bunker door, which is thirteen. So if they enter through the main door, then it's thirteen T four in total. All right, and then if they enter from the top, uh, from our roof, that will be a one garage door, and another garage door. So that'll be four, and then another garage door. That'll be a six. Then another garage door, and a like one, two, three. So that'd be another six, so like around twelve. Then another garage door, fourteen. I would say around sixteen C four. Might have miscounted somewhere, but yeah, around sixteen C four for that. If they enter through the roof, which is the worst way they could enter through. Alright, and thank you guys for watching, I'll see you later. Bye guys!